Right, we're going to use our gap diagnostics Bluetooth tool to show you how to adjust the height on a Range Rover Sport 2005. So we've got it started, we've let the compressor pump up. Sometimes when you start the car you hear it brrrr. So we're all good, ready to go. So let's find the ODB2 port. I forgot where it is on this one. Should be down by your accelerator pedal on this one. Uh, there he is. Which way round does he go on this one? Come on. There we go. We're in. Green lights. Oh, red light. It's flashing. It's doing something. Yeah, got a connection there. Right. Right. So get your phone. Oh, I think I'm driving. Oh, hold on. We don't want that. All right. And then we got the little gap diagnostics. Um, so we can open that and then connect to the last tool, which is our Powerful UK. It's trying to reconnect. It's doing its normal things. I don't know if you can see that. Ian's got it looking yeah. all good. Right, so you've got various options you can go and you can clear faults and do all sorts of things. But the function we're using today is the height adjustment function. Okay, so let's do a quick explanation of this. So, um, at the moment, right, let me get this right. So that seems to be your, so we've it's, previously we'd... done videos on the Disco 4. So that seems to have saved your settings from the Disco 4 yeah, on your it's... phone. So let's go for default. So let's go to default. So the one you're on is um, is green. It's because you can, I don't know if you can see that. You've got the little green box yeah. around it. Okay. And it gives you a series of other ones that you can pre-program that you can select. Now, whatever changes you make will... So you've got... <laughs> I'm not doing... Right. So basically on the car, if you have a look at the suspension settings here we've got the the low position which we're currently in the access position you've got the normal height and you've got the off-road position so you've got three settings now whatever you adjust on this iid tool so if you go right i want to make the the normal cruising height lower what it will do is it'll actually shift all three heights down by that much or if you make it higher it'll make them all three higher so you can't make the low one lower the high one higher Whatever change you make, it basically recalibrates the suspension and they all the, the car will sit lower on all three. I hope that's clear. I don't feel I've explained it very well. So, so I've got some settings here for when I go on the ferry or whatever. So let's just see what the low rider settings are. So if we go low rider... Now, so it says at the top there, so you're going from zero. So we're going from unchanged. So the front will be minus 18 and the back will be minus, minus 23. 23. Now it doesn't like it for some. That was an, that was thrown an error. We've just noted that that was thrown an error on our Discovery 4. So let's just... Let's go set in three. Why don't yeah, you go set, in, set if you, in three. If you hold it, then ah. you can then go in and change it. Now this, this little tie thing here means that whatever I do on one, it'll do so it'll keep the car level. You can press that, untie it and have the front down and the back up or something weird. So if I just want to go minus 18, you'll see that that other setting changes. So, so what should we go? Should we go minus 20? Go as low as you can if you want. It's, it's minus 20, should we see how low it'll minus 33. Well, that seems to be as low as we can go, right? Oh no, blimey. That's just my dodgy 38 tablet. 38 and 23. So you can then, you can save that at the bottom there, once you pick. So if you only want to go down, say, an inch, you could do 25 mil front and back, or as close as you can get. Okay, so that should be set. So, so you, no, so you, you, you've selected setting 3, and yeah. now you need to click program. Program, which will then download that setting that I've selected, the one with the green box in into the software so we press program yes. and it says would you like to save the changes yes and it's updating okay so it's saying operation succeed continue and we should okay. get a little bit of a rumble now and it should eventually it can take a minute uh, it's saying suspension in extended mode so it's come up right um so it's not happy so let me just put it up i'm just going to put it up into this the standard mode you can feel it going up, down, and we'll try that again. Alright, so this should now be 
Right, so that's now put us in standard mode. So this is the height we can drive at. So do you want to pop outside it in and have a look how low that looks and then I'll put it back to standard. That's looking pretty high at the minute. That's looking pretty high, isn't it? On the back it is anyway. On the front we've got, what, like a, a three fingers gap on the front. Okay. So I don't know if that's saved. So let me set, let me set default and then program and save changes, yes. So I've, I've now put it, so that should now be back to standard. Oh. I'm not sure if it made you, oh. oh. There we go, so yeah, standard is apparently four or five fingers high. So it did seem to make a difference. So, so that's how you can do, and again, so I'm going to go back to our super low setting, just one last time, selected it, program, are you sure you want to update it? Operating system, so that should now be going down to a lower Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now, does it let you select access height from there? Right, this may cause a problem. So let me see if I go to access height, press down. No, so working. that's that's the same as we had on the land on the discovery. So if you four, overdo the... it, you can you can go. You're okay in standard mode, so you can drive along the motorway low. But if you if you try to go to the lowered mode, it actually bottoms out. It senses it bottoms out and it puts it back up. So do be careful. The other disclaimer I would say is you do get some funny tyre wear and and slight changes in stability if you mess about with your suspension too much. It's so, the same as any suspension changes, change, you should yeah. go and get your tracking and alignment and everything redone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're just going out and you want to get it set lower, it's, it's a good job. Alright, good luck with that.